NBC7's What's Up is sponsored by Bill Howe Plumbing, Heating, and Air, Flood and Restoration. We know how. I'm Greg Bledsoe, and this is your morning update for Tuesday, November 24th. Southern California is getting ready for a surge of Thanksgiving travelers and the possible explosion of COVID-19 cases that could potentially go with it. In L.A. County already, travelers are coming through airports and train stations and being required to sign a form acknowledging California's recommended 14-day self-quarantine. This comes as L.A. County is seeing record number of cases, and Mayor of L.A., Eric Garcetti, is warning the city could be out of hospital beds by Christmas. Public health officials here in San Diego County, in the meantime, are warning against all holiday travel. Well, a judge has handed a pretty disappointing defeat to a group of local businesses. They were asking to be allowed to operate inside, despite the state's purple tier restrictions. They wanted a restraining order. However, the judge ruled that the impact to public health outweighs the economic harm to those businesses. The judge also said that Governor Gavin Newsom is not outside of his authority to shut down businesses since California's Emergency Services Act is being used right now. San Diego's coronavirus cases are still at an all-time high. We've now had four daily case counts at 1,000 cases or more. In fact, yesterday we had 1,167 cases, a 5% positive rate. There were no deaths reported yesterday, which is typical, though, we should mention on Mondays because of the delay in reporting from over the weekend. County health officials identified 35 community outbreaks over the last three days. Here's a chance to take home a bit of San Diego sports history. The seats from SDCCU Stadium or San Diego Stadium or the Murph or Qualcomm, whatever you want to call it, those seats are going on sale soon. Pre-sale for people who are in the Aztec Club starts on November 30th, and then the general public can buy those seats starting on December 1st. They're selling in pairs. You have to buy at least two of them, and they start at about $300 for a pair of seats. Uh, signs and other memorabilia, by the way, from the stadium, that'll be sold at a later date. We will continue to bring you the very latest here on NBC7.com as well as on TV. And you can always learn more on our podcast every single day we do this. It's called Today in San Diego. We talk about the day's biggest headlines affecting our communities. You can download it, subscribe, wherever you normally get your podcasts. Stay safe. Have a nice rest of your day. NBC7's What's Up is sponsored by Bill Howe Plumbing, Heating, and Air, Flood, and Restoration. For the safety of your family, the furnace in your home needs to run efficiently. Call Bill Howe today for your 15-point furnace tune-up and safety inspection. Call 1-800-BILL-HOWE. Bill Howe. Because we know how.